Greetings and welcome back to Audio Wave Records Home Studio. I am DJ Audio. Today I'm going to show a quick little tutorial on how to do something called Verify in Pro Tools. This one took me a while because the term Verify and the plugin Verify in Pro Tools is unique to Pro Tools. It's an avid plugin, so of course it's only in Pro Tools. So my dumb ass was sitting here for a long time trying to find the Verify plugin in Logic, like they would just have one called Verify, and I never could figure it out. Um, and it was bugging me because it's a plugin that I really loved in Pro Tools and I used a lot. So once I finally figured out how to do it in Logic, of course it's simple as F, and not some you don't even need a plugin. You don't have to do any of the BS. I spent all this time looking for it. Once I realized how simple it was, I felt pretty dumb. But anyway, that's the reason why I have this channel was to try to pass along some of the information. I think I picked this up on a YouTube tutorial or something that I watched someone do. So unless you happen to watch that same one, you probably didn't know this either. Anyway, regardless, this is very helpful to me and I thought it might help others. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do this. Okay, this is actually going to be a two for one because not only am I going to show you how to do verify, which is basically a tape stop or like a slowdown, like if an old tape machine, reel to reel, or even cassette tapes, if they're old enough, when you hit the stop button, it didn't just abruptly stop the tape. There would be a little bit of a slowdown. So, or like a record player, same thing when you stop the button, you'd hear. <laughs> right? So it slows down. So in Pro Tools, there's a plugin for that called Verify. But here's how you would do it in Logic um, without a plugin. First thing you do, like I said, this is going to be a two for one. So you go to your clip. Right here I have this guitar that was played. And the first thing you do is create a fade. So you could go up to your button here, find fade tool or here's the first trick I'm going to show you you take your fingers this one and this one you hold control shift see in the keyboard control shift go over your clip with your mouse oh my god it's fading it's fading it's fading ah the fade tool okay so control shift fades you never have to go up to this scroll and go here and click it and then go back when you're done and click it. Just control shift. There's your fade, right? Okay, it faded out. So if you right click over this grayed area where it's affected the fade, you see where it says fade. I have a fade going. You could choose slow down. And if it's at the beginning of this, it would be speed up. But at the end, you choose slow down. And there, I've just done the verify. Now listen. That's it. So that's the quick, easy way to do a slow down tape stop effect, or in Pro Tools, it's called Verify. That is how you do it in Logic. You're welcome. <laughs>